guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna give you guys some cleaning motivation it is Sunday and I like to take this time to get the house clean put back in order I have not like deep cleaned my house in over probably over in a week and I've just been picking up here and there but it's just gotten a little bit dirtier than I would like it to be so we're gonna get it all spruced up for the week that way we can start fresh and feeling good but if you guys need some motivation to clean your house then you're in the right place please subscribe if you are new I'd love to have you here on my channel I'm doing a little bit of some soul searching with my YouTube channel on what I really want to be posting where I want to put my efforts and time in so let me know what videos you guys like to see the most um, I'm really gonna try to keep up with it I've taken a break the last couple weeks and it's been nice but I'm ready to get back into it and be filming what I'm supposed to be filming so I'm gonna do lots of house stuff um, and cleaning videos I think so if you like how that sounds give it a thumbs up um, on this video and subscribe like I said so let's go ahead and get into this cleaning routine so I for sure need to take down all of my 4th of July decorations um, and clean up like the office area in here Taylor's mowing outside if you can hear that and then our living room you know it just needs a little spruced up to take down um, that little garland for the 4th of July and there's a little con container over there with stars on it I'll probably take that down so we did something super exciting today we actually bought a new sectional for our living room so um, all of this is gonna go upstairs since we've got room up there and we got a gray a light light gray sectional to go right through here and a new rug and we're also getting a new fireplace we are really really excited this is a purchase that we knew we wanted to make when we got into the house so stay tuned for that once that comes in it's gonna take about four weeks um, to come in but I'm really really pumped about it and then we also got a rug to go under the dining room table if you guys haven't checked out rugs USA you totally should because they've got the best deals like I got two rugs for $230 after tax. So amazing, free shipping, like it's just such a good place to get rugs and I've heard really good things about them. As far as our um, sectional, we did get a big ottoman to go with it. We got that at Ashley Furniture. They were running a really good 4th of July sale. Um, so that was awesome and we're really excited to get it in and show you guys. Moving on to the dining room. This is what we're working with. So the rug that I got is like an off-white jute rug and it's just gonna go underneath the table I need to put my um, my table stuff back on my place mats and everything um, I had them off of there for a party the other night but I don't know if you guys can tell but our floors are so dirty you can tell in the light from Colt's paws so I have got to sweep and mop these floors it is absolutely driving me nuts um, kitchen it just needs some tidying up I've got some diapers to put away in Brooks's room he's taking a nap right now so that's where he's at I also need to clean um, the dishes that are in the sink it's mainly Brooks's bottles and like his oatmeal cups in the morning that's about it and then I did get some groceries the other day and I still have everything in these boxes so I need to take them all out of the boxes and put them in these containers like more neatly and fill these back up and so yeah that's what I got to do in here I also need to put those protein shakes in the fridge that way they're cool and nice and ready to go I also have a ton of laundry to do those boxes need to be taken out I still haven't made the bed today there's all our bedding I need to hang up this picture <laughs> like there's so much you guys so and just random things like a book over there I don't even know and then maybe if I get enough time I will take down the outdoor 4th of July stuff as well so I got a lot of cleaning to do and let's go ahead and get started I always like to start out my cleaning routines in the kitchen I'm starting out with dishes today um, it's just a little bit of bottles and stuff from Brooks so I'm actually gonna throw these in the dishwasher that way um, they can get nice and sanitized and I like to do this usually about once a week and then after I get all the dishes out of the sink I'm gonna go ahead and clean the sink as well I just use one of these steel wool balls and I just clean out the sink really good and the trick is to get it wet first and then scrub it down and it really gets rid of all of that gunk that's been built up in the sink 
And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just showing you guys how much it actually suds up and it makes the sink so shiny and clean. But the trick is to, once you rinse it out, is to dry it off as well. So I just grabbed a towel at the end and wiped it all down to get it nice and dry and it was good to go. Such a nice sink, I love that feeling. All right, then I'm moving on to cleaning the countertops. I like to do this before anything else. That way I can get all the crumbs off the counters and um, sweep the floor later on. So I'm just using my Method Granite Surface Cleaner. And it, this is in the scent Apple Orchard. It smells so good. I also use it on my stove because I feel like it really gets all of the grease and like food off of the stove really easily. I also wipe down my Keurig. It gets super dirty from like coffee spilling on it and stuff like that. So I make sure and clean that off and then I go ahead and do our bar area. This is where we eat most of our meals. So I want to make sure and get that area nice and clean, any food that's been stuck on there from Brooks. And then I also clean off the bar stools as well because food and crumbs do get stuck on these as well. So then I'm moving on to clean our stainless steel. I love this method seal for real. It smells really good and it works awesome. I used to use the Wyman wipes, but I felt like I was just going through them like crazy. So I like this spray a lot. It gets rid of all of the fingerprints and all, everything like that, which is so nice when you have a two year old. I also wiped down my microwave with this. We've got a little bit of steel on there, but it works good on the window part and buttons as well. So I just clean my refrigerator, my microwave, my stove, and then I also move on to my dishwasher. I like to make sure that this gets nice and clean before the day starts and it feels so good. So then I just light a candle. This one is Banana Cabana from Bath & Body Works. This is my favorite right now and the pattern on the candle is so cute. All right, once the kitchen is pretty much clean, I'm gonna go ahead and get these protein shakes and put them in the fridge. Taylor loves the vanilla ones, and I personally like the chocolate, so you'll see both of those here, but let me know what your favorite flavor of protein is. He likes to drink the vanilla for lunch, um, and I like to have mine more as like a snack throughout the day. So then after I get done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my kitchen towels. Just for clean ones, I like to do this, you know, every so often, that way they don't get smelling bad or dirty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start in the pantry by filling up some of my containers with chips. I love these containers. I got them from Sam's and they're just like the airtight ones. And they've worked really well. So then moving on into the pantry, I had so many boxes that I needed to like dump into our little containers. So that's what you're gonna see me doing here. I didn't do a close up of it, but that is what I'm doing. And I'm just organizing everything, but I'll show you the end product in just a second. But once I get done with this, I had so many boxes that I needed to break down and put in the trash. So that's what I'm doing here, but this is such a process. <laughs> So once I got it all taken care of, this is the end result and I love it. I think it looks so much better. It could be better, but it's organized chaos. I know where like all of Brooks' snacks are and breakfast food and even the underneath is organized so it feels a lot better. Okay, moving on. I'm going to start picking up the house. So I just go through each room and see what needs picked up. Not a whole lot going on in the office. I just had one of Brooks' backpacks that I'm going to put in his playroom. And then I went ahead and started in the living room just by organizing the blankets, getting them folded, pillows back in place, just stuff like that. Nothing too major in here, but the blankets and pillows always get messed up like five times a day with Brooks and Taylor and Colt, so it's kind of a chore. But I'm also taking down this 4th of July banner and also the one in the entryway. And I like to store these in this desk right here. That way I know what I've got to decorate with on those areas. So that's a little tip for you guys. And then I'm cleaning off my kitchen table. I'm using that same method cleaner. And then I'm actually gonna set my table, which I don't typically do. Um, but here lately, I've loved the look of it. I just think it adds a lot of character and style to the space. So I'm using my bowls from Macy's and I got all of my placemats from Hobby Lobby. 
and I love them. So if you guys need a little sprucing up, just set your table and <laughs> I think it looks so much better. All right, then I'm finally making my bed. I typically do this the beginning of the day, but today was Sunday and I usually don't have much time in the mornings because we're getting ready for church. And I just went ahead and left it, but I'm making it now because I just cannot stand it. So I got this bedding set from Target here recently and I love it. It was on sale. It came with all of these um, pillow shams and these decorative pillows minus the navy sea pillow that you see right there. So really good deal if you're looking for a new bedding set. And then you guys, I had so much laundry to do, it was not even funny. And I don't even show half of it on this video. I just went to town with the laundry. And it's actually the next day when I'm recording this voiceover and I am still doing laundry. So that just shows you how much I had to do. So I'm just folding it here. Taylor and Brooks were running around being crazy. And then I just went ahead and put everything up in Brooks's room. His room, um, I hadn't opened the blinds for the day. We weren't really home. He went over to my parents' house while we were looking for that sectional. So I just had a lot of catching up to do. And so I put all of his clothes away. I have not stuck with the KonMari method on folding. I need to go back and rearrange it all. But usually, like if Taylor is putting up his clothes, he doesn't know to do that. So we need to all get on the same page with it. And then I'm just straightening it up, putting stuff away still. And then I'm also going to wash all of his bedding and put new bedding on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking it all out. I like to get this um, washed about once a week. Sometimes more depending if he has like spills in it or if he pees through his overnight diaper. He doesn't really have too much trouble with that anymore but I like to have spare bedding ready to put on his bed just in case there is something that happens throughout the night or he gets sick or something. So I've got a couple different ones to throw on there and this is the final result. Just picked up, looks a lot better. Um, and yeah, we're gonna move on to our bathroom. So this is what I'm cleaning the master bathroom with. And it's just an array of cleaning products that I get from Target or Grow. Make sure to use gloves as well. That way it just protects my hands. You guys know I have eczema on my hands. So anytime I do my full cleaning routine, my hands are killing me at the end, even if I wear gloves. So I have to, have to wear gloves. Even hot water can sometimes dry my hands out. So I'm just gonna clean my bathtub first and I'm just taking this container I got from Hobby Lobby. I, it's just an extra one I have around and I'm scrubbing it with a scrub brush from Menards and then I'm using my Caldrea Rosewater Driftwood Countertop Spray. This stuff is luxury living. It smells amazing, lasts forever, cuts through all the grease and stuff. It's so, so good. And then I also use my Sprayway um, glass cleaner or window cleaner, whatever you call it, for my mirrors. This works the best that I found. Um, and I just take a paper towel just because sometimes microfiber cloths just don't do it for me. I need to get better about finding something that's reusable. But I'm also emptying out my trash can. I need to do this like at least once a week. And then I'm finishing off by spraying some Febreze in the Gain scent. I had some that was in the spring scent and it smelled so good. So I need to go look and see if they have some of that still. And then I'm just dusting off my master bedroom, all of the nightstands and our dresser. And I'm using this Pledge like four in one cleaner. You can spray it on wood, you can spray it on granite, you can spray it on glass. It's really, really good. And then I'm finishing up by vacuuming. I did vacuum half of the house, but Brooks was sleep, sleeping already, so I didn't vacuum his side. Left the vacuum out, and I'm doing it this morning. But I did want to show you guys what I use to vacuum. I have a Shark powered lift away, and it has a carpet and hardwood setting. I love it. And I also use this Bona Mop for my hardwood floor. So bye-bye Colt's paws. <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing his paws, uh, paw marks on the floor. So I am getting rid of them right now. I love this mop because I don't have to like stop and grab a cleaner, spray it on the floor. It just, I press the button and it sprays out and it cleans everything so well. And then I can throw the pad in the washing machine. So it is a win-win. 
And then that is it for this cleaning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the end product. There is absolutely nothing better than a clean house. I just love it so much and it gives me such motivation to start off my week on the right foot. So hopefully this encourages you guys as well. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay guys, that wraps this cleaning routine up. It is now after 11 o'clock so it is time for me to head to bed but it feels so good going to bed with a clean house i really hope this encourages you guys to clean as well i just did it as i could as the night went on um, when brooks was awake we just ate dinner and did our normal stuff and then when he went back to bed i jumped back on the cleaning which is usually what i struggle with so hopefully this will help you guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new for lots more cleaning motivation coming your way see you in the next one bye